As for Charles Manson, his infamous legacy continues in a variety of books, movies, and television interviews. Over the years, recordings of Manson's music have been released to both the public and as underground bootlegs. And in 1994, Manson, at age 60, secretly recorded the album Commemoration while serving his sentence in San Quentin. That particular album was made off a little old $7 tape recorder. Mm -hmm. And it was put together as a, as a promotion angle for the guy who made six, $700,000 for that. Yeah. <laughs> so he used to call him the dog Recognize your song? So you can't play music anymore on the... Uh... No, no, they're scared. Yeah? You Everything the... they're scared of, I, I, got, I can't do anything. They're afraid of my hands. They're, they'll be handcuffing me around the feet pretty soon. They put all kinds of garbage in my ventilator. They, they, uh, they, they, uh, they really don't know what they're doing. They really don't understand what they're doing. I, I flash on Christ hanging on the cross. I'd like to get back outside and just be anybody, someone just like you. Or if you don't want that, let me go back and play some music and walk around where I just came from. I was uh, doing this when I got arrested. And it's how I express myself. Tyler's caveman trip. I'm going to take over everything I already did. <laughs> we put it in motion. Charles Manson continues to provoke curiosity in the American public often being labeled as a martyr or a symbol of complete evil. His myth continues throughout the ages. People look at you today, 20 years later, and they still have no idea what you're about. Tell me in a sentence who you are. straight racer if you get too close to me. Da, da.